everybody welcome to another video so 1.38 is officially out in shadow fight 3 and i'll be going through all of the changes um that have been added to the game so here are the changes the general changes advanced equipment coloring you can now customize individual parts of each equipment each item can have between two or four customization parts as you can see in the screen right here on this image right here and these are the customization parts they are talking about right here. Now here's something I think they made a mistake on. And that is this word right here. Item. I, I think they meant to write... I, I think they meant to, uh, um, to write set instead of item. Because I went to the coloring section of the game. Because I went to the customization of, of the game and I clicked on stranger set um with the new skin which i which i made a video about i'll put a link in the description down below for you to see but but i went to the stranger set um with this uh with the skin on and it only showed two customization parts so therefore they meant to write set instead of item but but i could be wrong let me know if, I, if i'm incorrect in the comments easy id sharing to make sharing player ids more convenient we've added a copy id button in the in the player's profile your server information is also displayed there okay not really a huge change to me to be honest not really a huge difference to me because you can just take a screenshot of your player id and that's it you don't have to like to go to your uh, your profile and just copy of the, uh, the id when you could just take a screenshot of the id yourself so it's not really a, a huge difference but, but it's a nice feature to have gift Battle passes. So this feature is new. And this is not in the game yet, but but I believe, but I think that a battle pass is going to be implemented in Shadow Fight 3 um in the next event that's coming this Wednesday morning. So I think when that event comes out, this feature will come out when that event comes out. It says you can now purchase and give the battle pass and battle pass plus to any player simply know their id and server so this is a great feature to have if you have uh people around you um who also play shadow fight 3 or if you have friends that do play shadow fight 3 and you want to give them a gift you can just give them this by simply knowing their id and then like this so it's a pretty nice feature to have and then they will be thankful for you for it and and over here and, and here's another screenshot give a gift battle pass so over here is where you will pay so here is where you are gonna have to pay player user found you can give them a battle pass subscription so, so yes yeah, so over here is what you're gonna be paying to give uh, your friend a battle pass so this is a so this is very nice updated mail tab the mail tab now includes the ability to automatically collect rewards from marathons lucky boards and battle passes oh so, and battle passes so this is a good feature so basically any reward you get from a marathon from marathons lucky boards and battle passes you can automatically claim those rewards by going to the mail feature wow so this is a new so that's new event currency conversion after an event concludes you will receive an information letter detailing the conversation of event currency so here's some so it's literally the same thing as converting your gems into coins, and I do not recommend doing that at, at all. Gems are way more valuable. Please do not do this. I've done that myself too, and I don't, and I'm not very proud of doing it. So please, do not convert your gems into coins because they're way more valuable. Coins you can get everywhere in the game, but for gems, it's really hard to get gems. It really is. You will receive an information letter detailing the conversion of event currency. So I have a question. So what exactly are we going to be able to convert our event currency to? Are we going to convert our event currency into gems? To shadow energy? To coins? I don't know. But maybe but we will find out when the next up uh, when the next event comes out. Um this this Wednesday morning. Dual rules display. If dual rules apply to a fight, they will be displayed before the battle begins. Okay, not really important. Exciting news coming your way. 
we will be unveiling the details of our next update very soon. So they're going to be releasing another article, I think, where they're going to be talking about uh, the changes that will be coming in the next update. Okay. But that's not all. This week, we're kicking off an enhanced Faction Wars event on our Discord server. Don't miss out. Join the fun. Okay, so they're going to be releasing a Faction Wars e event. So this is cool. So if you want to participate in the event, you can go to their Discord server, I think. And, and you can just have fun. So what are my thoughts about this? So, it is a good update, not gonna lie. But it's not a huge update. How do I say this? Uh, none of these changes here are what I'm looking for personally. Because there's one thing that I know players are burnt up about. Because here's something that I know. Something that I really wish they do one day in the future. Is implementing new ways to get stability points. Stability points are very important in the transformation story. And I am willing to bet that there's probably so many players that feel so tired collecting stability points so that they can complete the transformation story. I guarantee you there's going to come a time when, when many players are going to leave just because it's taking so long for them to collect stability points. Me, myself, it took so long for me to complete the transformation story mode simply because because you have to wait for uh, for certain marathons you have to wait um to at least in marcus's plane when i was in marcus's plane i had to um wait uh, um for the next marathon to come out so that i can get stability points there and to me that's very frustrating to me because why do i need to to spend six or seven months getting stability points just so i can complete the transformation story mode it makes zero sense. A lot, of, and I think a lot of players probably agree with me here. Collecting stability points in this game is really hard. I think stability points is really hard, especially when you are in Marcus's plane and you're trying to collect stability points in order for you to complete story mode. But there comes a point in when you will start to feel tired and tired. So, so I truly hope that Nikki does something about this, implements new ways for players to collect stability points. That's all I'm asking for. But anyways. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in, in the next video. And let me know what you think about this update.